King Charles' corrective procedure exposes pivotal flaw in slimmed-down monarchy plan. King Charles' upcoming medical procedure highlights a crucial stumbling block in his plan to cut down the number of working royals as part of a cost-cutting exercise. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any news about the British monarchy. King Charles's upcoming corrective procedure has exposed a key issue facing current working members of the royal family, an expert has warned. Buckingham Palace announced on Wednesday that the king would be treated for a benign prostate condition next week hours after Kensington Palace confirmed Kate, the Princess of Wales had undergone abdominal surgery. While His Majesty is expected to make a swift recovery, the Princess of Wales will remain in hospital for up to 14 days and is unlikely to return to official duties until Easter at the earliest. Royal commentator Richard Fitzwilliams noted the announcements highlighted a considerable concern about the future of the royal family, and cast doubts on Charles's plans to slim down the monarchy. The king has been tipped for years to cut down on the number of working family members to reduce costs but Fitzwilliams noted that there are only four royals with official roles still under 70. Speaking to US Weekly, the expert said, it shows you don't want a slimmed down monarchy. Only four people are under 70 as it is. The king hinted from the start of his reign he wanted only a reduced number of relatives taking on official duties alongside himself and Queen Camilla. Prince William and Kate will both be out of commission for weeks as the Prince of Wales confirmed he had cancelled multiple engagements to care for his wife and their three children. Prince Edward, the Duke of Edinburgh, 63, and Sophie, the Duchess of Edinburgh, 58, are the only members of the royal family younger than 70 still available for public duties. And while William could still step in to take over his father's duties while he recovers from his procedure, he could bow out and leave his fellow councillors of state to take the lead in the king's absence. Fitzwilliams added, William is a councillor of state, who, in theory, could stand in for the monarch in the event of him being abroad or of incapacity. If necessary, councillors of state could step in for the monarch. There are several, including, Prince Harry and, Prince, Andrew, who obviously would not be asked to. The expert noted the Duke of Sussex and his uncle are both unlikely to be asked to step up, leaving Princess Beatrice as the only possible candidate to take over for His Majesty. The non-working royal is said to already be on hand to cover Kate's workload while she recovers from abdominal surgery. An insider told OK. Beatrice has been told to be on hand over the next few months in case there are any engagements she needs to attend. This is a role that she undertakes in an official capacity, not one that has been thought up at the last minute to fill a gap.